if I can see this on my screen here. We got a few people in here right now. We'll just give a give a minute or so. Okay. Well, we had a fun day today. Hey, there's Brandon. So this has yep. can't see. <laughs> hey, Brandon. Sydney. Cosmos. You guys are always pretty quick at the beginning. We got that huge pile of logs, yeah. cedar wood logs removed that were by the bus. It looks so much nicer around here now. Gonna continue to keep cleaning up around here. Hey, Michael, Sage, Tim, Tyler, Andrew. I'm not sure who else I missed, sorry. Tasso. Gino's is on here. Bay on here, Bay. Hey, Bay. Gino's garage. Okay, well today, man, today was a fun day. Um, if you're not a member of Patreon, feel free to go click over on our Patreon today and you'll see some video clips and some other behind the scenes stuff and some images and stuff on there. So patreon.com slash busgreasemonkey, the B in bus is capitalized. I put a link to it in the community tab too. Uh, everything from today on Patreon is visible to anybody. You don't have to pay to see what I posted on there today. Um, just trying to help grow the Patreon channel uh, page just a little bit. Um, just kind of give you a peek at what's going on over there and stuff like that. We have, uh, you know, lots of pictures, behind the scene images and little video clips. Some things you get to see ahead of time. Uh, you get uh, some information about upcoming projects and things like that too that you don't know about from the YouTube channel. So Patreon does start at like five bucks a month. So if it's something you wanna think about doing, but again, you can go over there today and see those video clips from today. We drove the 4104 up the hill today and there's a clip of that on there. Um, it's very impressive. Uh, and <laughs> I don't know if it's impressive in a good way. <laughs> well, it's impressive that it made it up the hill yeah. multiple times. What I drive it up three times. I brought it yeah. up and down the hill three times today. Uh, and it did them all great. And it got progressively better as it went. Uh, the first time it was very, very comical. That's the video that's on there. I don't think I posted the second video on there. I just put the first one, which is a super, super smoky, uh, trip up the hill. <laughs> Like you might have thought there was a forest fire going on in the holler. That's how bad it looked. Um, it was it was pretty intense. And the cold start in the morning was super smoky too. It was it was there was still ice out there. The uh, on top of my oil barrel was solid frozen block of ice on top of there. So it was below 32 degrees. Uh, obviously had to use some starting fluid to start it. Um, it started like on maybe like two, possibly three cylinders for a few seconds. Uh, 10, 15 seconds maybe, and then like a fourth cylinder came in, then the fifth one, then the sixth one. Uh, we've always had trouble with that six cylinder kicking in until you get it revved up on the RPM. But today, once it went up and down the hill a couple times, it was firing on all cylinders, barely smoking at all. Uh, it wasn't smoking at all in idle, just under power is a little bit of smoke. Uh, but it's clearing up. I think after about 500 miles, I'm hoping that it will be uh, pretty good. Power wise, it had enough power to come up the hill, which is very impressive. Uh, the smoking is, is a little bit of an issue. The cold start, obviously it's down on compression, but it's been sitting for a long time. So let's, you know, we don't want to make a judgment call on it until after we get some, get some miles on it, uh, and see what it needs from there. Obviously it's a little bit old and tired, but it still had enough power to make it up the hill. So I, I'm very happy with that. Um, why would that person say that? Why did you say that with a super chat? Take your money back. Can I refund it and just delete them? That's ridiculous. Sorry. Somebody's very immature. Um, yeah, we definitely had to use starting fluid on it. Uh, okay, so where is he? Gino's Garage wants to know, did you get his alternator sorted? Uh, no, it is not charging though. Um, when I ran it, I put the meter on it, it's not charging. Um, so right now I just left it disconnected. In order for him to get it home, he's just gonna run the generator and have a battery charger on it. Um, so from there, that, that's all. You know, that'll get them from that. And then uh, I think we just need to replace the diodes in there and possibly that will fix it. Um, but in order for him to get it home and start being able to work on it, do that stuff himself, and then he can go from there. So the battery charger off of the generator will be fine to get him home. And is the reverse solenoid working with better voltage? It was not working. Um, he had to manually move the lever for me today. And he was getting pretty good at learning how to do it. 
because uh, I would go up the hill and then back up to turn around one time at the top and then down at the bottom. We'd have, actually, I worked it out where I don't have to put it in reverse down at the bottom of the hill. I have a way where I can go down past the rock, turn left past the rock, and it goes uphill just a little bit there. And I go into the right to the property line and then immediately put it in neutral and then start cranking the wheel and it'll roll backwards to That's the That's how you did it so fast the second and third time. Yeah, to okay. the street. And that's, I never even had to put it in reverse. Okay. Uh, it was cool. Uh, but I did get a hell of a workout from the no power steering. That does not have power steering on it. And that's a lot of steering wheel jockeying time to, to do that maneuver down there. Cliff was laughing. He's like, that's a good, yeah, he, he knew it was going to be hard. Um, but uh, yeah, so if you get a chance, go over to the Patreon page. Uh, there's a link to it in our community tab. Everything from today is free on there just for you to kind of see what we got going on. Uh, we're kind of making a commitment to be a little bit more involved in our Patreon page. It's not going to take away from what we're doing on the YouTube page. You're still going to see the videos like you normally do. You'll just see some early little clips, behind the scenes stuff, things like that. Uh, some, a lot of still images. We're doing some photography on there. Uh, and then just ha have conversations that we don't talk about on the YouTube channel, especially about things that are coming up and stuff like that too. So Patreon starts at like five bucks a month. It's pretty cool. Um, and we're gonna be a lot more active. We've been very active already here in January. There's lots and lots of posts that are on there. Things going around on the property that we've been doing. Um, we got the container leveled. They'll have a video of that. That was crazy. Um, we're getting ready to, we got rid of this log pile that was here. Uh, the pad is cleaned off. The bus, the 4104 is now parked off to the side. It's on the gravel. Um, so it's not, it's not on the pad anymore. And then, um, if you follow us on the Patreon, you'll see that we have four buses that we're going to be working on this month. Uh, so you'll be able to get lots of content on the YouTube channel here, bus work. So that should be exciting for people too. Um, Thursday, I have a scenic cruiser coming here and Friday, I'm going to be just mostly doing an inspection on it and stuff like that. Um, it's, uh, they just bought it haven't really done much to it. Just want me to go through it. It does not have a 70, uh, it doesn't have a two-stroke Detroit in it. He didn't know what it had in it, but he said it's not. It's it's something more modern, but he didn't know what it was. So uh, I'll find out when I get it, but it's got an electronic transmission in it too. So uh, an Allison, but he didn't know. Probably like a 740 or something. Um, so it's all a mystery to me, but I, I'm going to be going through, you know, wheel bearings, hubs, brakes, airbags, that kind of stuff with them. So, um, and then there's a couple other buses that we'll have here. And then hopefully we'll get my daughter's bus here. Tyler is moving here to Tennessee much sooner than we thought. So we discussed that on our Patreon page a little bit too. I don't think I discussed it on YouTube at all yet. So he accepted a job as a mobile mechanic down here and he's gonna be coming down uh, before the end of the month. And so he's coming down a few times before that we're starting to bring some of his stuff here. He is gonna start getting a build out done on his bus. Um, and then he'll be able to stay with us on our bus too until his gets done. But that'll be nice for him to do that. How's Lance? I got to see Lance the other day. Uh, he stopped by, picked up some stuff. Uh, he's doing good. He's got hopefully working on some good deals with a couple of companies with his bus stuff. So uh, I don't want to spoil the news on that or anything. But uh, yeah, he's, he's doing real well. Um, the 4104. So we, the last few days, the video that's coming up, you know, we got the hub, I think, I think the hub went back together on the last video that I posted. The wheels all went back on it. I introduced Cliff to the torque wrench. So he got to torque all of his wheels on there. So he did six wheels. Um, he was definitely worn out, sore, sweating. He's like, this is the hardest thing that, that he had done so far on the bus was torquing the wheels. Um, and, and he said he's not going to buy one his own. He's going to take it and have somebody else do it. Yeah, he's, he was going to buy his own <laughs> torque wrench, but now he changed his mind. He's going to take it, take it somewhere else and let them change do the wheels. Um, yeah. So, and the starting fluid we're using isn't really ether. Somebody, I just saw somebody yeah, commenting on that. Yeah, that's, it's not, it's, it's very low percentage. It's not like it used to be. Um, it's cold. We don't have a block warmer for that bus. So, uh, you know, you got to do what you got to do. So, um, I don't spray a lot in at once. I just fog it just a little bit and it, it starts up. Do we got some questions you want me to run through there, Kelly? Um, any way to install a grid heater to the intake? Um, of just something to warm the coolant is by far the best thing to do on those. Uh, you know, you need to get it from the inside out. Uh, that, I mean, there's a hundred different ways to do it. You know, you could point a torpedo heater at the bus for an hour. That's how we started the one in Minnesota last year or two years ago. No, it was last year. That Minnesota bus, that was just over a year ago. Yeah. Yeah. Um, time flies by. This year has been crazy. Uh, so yeah, if you got a torpedo heater and you can point it at your bus engine, set it about, you know, eight, six, eight feet away from the engine and just let it blow on there for an hour and it'll fire and right Phil up. Phil is on here. Oh, hey, Phil. He said hi. What's up? Um, how cold is it there tonight? 
Uh, it's, right now it is 45 degrees. Yeah, I think it was 55 today. Yeah, it got up to 55 today. A couple days ago it was 72, so it's been all over the place. Will propane injection help with a cold start like ether? Nope. Not a bit. Matter of fact, it'll, it'll hurt. It takes away the available oxygen that you have in there. And a pro the propane, remember, is a, uh, a higher ignition temperature than diesel. So it would not work at all. It, it's completely the opposite. A lot of people are saying that they've been, been enjoying Tyler's videos and what he's been doing. So Nice. He's got a lot coming up, too. Ty Tyler's bus build. That'll be really fun to follow and watch. That, that'll be exciting. But and, he and he's posting a lot right now. He's got a lot of back-to-back -back things. So... Uh, what color do you hope to paint the thing? We haven't, I mean, we discussed painting it the color that the wrap was, or a lighter version of that color, but I, we also talked about painting it similar to the bus. Um, so I don't know that we've really decided anything, have we? It's your car. Yeah, it might be cool to do, like, because, like, the side, they, they sell a wrap that's like this that has the shiny reflective and do the sides of it like that and then put the blue, white on the top with the hard top and then a little bit of blue on the front. It could be fun to paint it like the bus. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Kelly's looking at me like I'm crazy. Uh, yeah. Orange would be the easiest because the inside is already orange, so. And the seats would match. Then. And the seats would match better. But I don't like orange on there. Yeah, it looks terrible right now, but it is growing on me how terrible it looks. <laughs> Does it slightly look cool? <laughs> no. I'm gonna camouflage it <laughs> so I won't see it. Yeah. Uh, did you check the points contacts under the back cover of the reverse solenoid? No. The the one that used to be on there didn't work at all. Did absolutely nothing, and that one works. It it it, it has to be connect. It, it moves, and then once you move it by hand the rest of the way, boom! It sucks it in real hard. So it's not the points. What color will Tyler's bus be when he's finished? That's uh, totally up to Tyler. I have no idea. Maybe he'll jump in and say. Maybe. Originally he wanted black, but we told him that'd be too, too hot probably for it. But Black is not a good idea for a bus. Um, how hard is it to put fuel gauge in intake sending unit on an MC-8? Um, it's not easy. I've never done it on an MC-8. I've done it on a 4106. Uh, I did it on a fishbowl. None of them are really easy to do. Uh, fuel gauge, the easiest thing to do is just, <coughs> excuse me, figure out, fill it up, drive it for 500 miles, and then fill it up again. And then you're never going to run out of fuel. That's the easiest thing to do. Um, why not use WD-40 instead of ether? I don't know if you answered that. I use that all the time. Tyler's still going to do the Indiana Diesel, but change his name to Tennessee Diesel. I got no idea what he's doing there. I thought he made a mention the other day about Indiana Diesel from Tennessee, or <laughs> live from Tennessee or something, he said. But so a bit, a bit wordy. <laughs> <laughs> um, is there any updates on the leaf spring situation with Lenny? Other than my back is doing real good, I would like to get that changed pretty soon. Um, hopefully that'll be on the schedule here to happen pretty soon here. But I have all the part, I have the new springs here, the brand, the brand new leaves to add to it. I got to take, take the old pack apart and replace a couple of them with the new, I have three, three new springs that are going on. So two are coming off and the third one's getting no, three are coming off and three are going on. So I'm taking off the top two, replacing them with two that have a, uh, a steeper arch, and then the very bottom one is coming off, and there's a third spring going in at the top to give it a little bit more support. Um, I just saw a super chat go by. Okay, I haven't seen it online. Um, JD... Hi for me and my dad. Awesome lights on the trees. Thank you. Yeah, there are, if I pan over, there are whole bunches of them. <laughs> we just leave them on at night too. They're, they're LEDs. They take very little power off of the bus. It's plugged into the bus. Um, it's nice out here with those. Do you have any leftover cans of DD engine spray paint? Uh, I have a couple, yes. I'm not going to paint the thing that color, if that's what they're suggesting. I don't know. <laughs> 
Tyler says, I still want to paint it black or matte purple. You'll regret the black. You, you, I think. Well, I mean, if I he mean, doesn't like his balls and he wants to sweat them off, that's completely fine. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not a lot of paint on the bus, but it, it's, it will make a difference. You will have to run air conditioning all the time in that thing if it's black. Yeah. I mean, I suppose if just the very front part is, then you're okay with that. And, and, but, I mean, on a silver size, maybe it's not so bad because it's only a little bit above the windows. Just so he, just so he keeps the roof white. Yeah, definitely. Because he definitely wouldn't want a black roof. No. When are you going to break ground for the shop? I don't know. Um, we'll see. It's going to be a while. It, it hasn't even been delivered yet. It's coming. They're going to give us a two-week notice. It's coming sometime this month. Um, I guess it's closer to the end of the month. Um, but we have to get things done ahead of time before it can get start getting built. And the concrete estimates are pretty expensive. So um, it's going to be... got to get the household. Yeah, got to get the household. But we got to get up there to do it. Okay. If you have questions, make sure you put it in caps so I see it, because I do see one here that is a question. Um, it's my first time trying to change my front tires. Should I go for it or bring in a truck tire guy and pay for the service? Like you're wanting to mount and dismount the tire, like take the tire off the rim, I would never recommend you doing that part yourself. If you're just taking the wheel off of the bus, then yeah, that's not too hard to do. Especially if you have a torque multiplier. So if you don't have big air tools or anything, a torque multiplier will break all those lug nuts loose and you'll be able to, you know, uh, just a cheap Harbor Freight uh, 20 ton jack or 15 ton jack will lift up the front end and you can take the wheels off. But if you're actually taking the tires off of the rims and putting new rim tires on the rims, boy, you don't, our local tire shop here charges $20 to do it. And it would take me over an hour and I would be physically exhausted and just, it'd be terrible. <clears throat> Have you ever thought about using a full face mask with a respirator when you first start a bus with a lot of smoke? No, never thought about it. Love the smell. <laughs> I was say you and Tyler would both say that. It's part of the, the diagnosis. You gotta know what the smoke smells like. I mean, if it smells like antifreeze then something's going on. So if I had a respirator on, I wouldn't be able to smell that. That's what I'm going with. <laughs> I'm laughing because Phil says, I ran out of fuel 14 times, but never on a vehicle without a gauge. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I ran out of gas twice in one day once in my car. <laughs> I only had two bucks. <laughs> I stopped and put my two bucks in and didn't make it home. <laughs> that was before we met. That right? is before, yeah. yeah. And that's why I Kelly always, likes the gauge on full. <laughs> that's why I always fill it up all the way. When you say, let's just do real quick, just put a few dollars in. I'm like, no, I have she, to fill it. She can't. Yeah. I have to fill it. I'm like, it it's cold way. outside. Let's just put 10 gallons in. No, we got to fill it all the way up. <laughs> I don't know why you're complaining because I'm I know. the one that fills it. I understand. <laughs> Can you get someone to help you put the springs in to take some of the load off of your back? Yeah, probably. Uh, last time Bo helped me, um, but yeah, I could definitely. Tyler said he would help. Yeah, Tyler will help. Just we'd have to have the time to do it. That, uh, well. With people here. The, really, the last six weeks, eight weeks, probably my back, about eight weeks, probably my back has been really jacked up. The last week, I've been really good. I, right now, I have no back pain at all. Uh, but yeah, you did, I did overdo it yesterday. I had some muscle pain yesterday, but that was all over my entire body from overdoing everything. Uh, I don't have any of the nerve pain right now, which the nerve pain is what knocked me out. Not muscle pain is no big deal. Um, but when the nerve goes off, there's nothing you can do. It's incapacitating. Um, but yeah, I've been doing real well. Uh, chiropractor hooks me up, doing great. Um, I'm finally good. And I think I would be able to handle doing the leaf spring right now, but I just don't want to do it by myself. So if I get one person here to help me do that, then I'll, I'll do it. I think you need to do that when you know you have a chiropractor appointment the next, the next day. day. Yeah. Yep. What does it cost for a rebuilt engine with labor? That's all over the place. You never know what you're going to get into. I would never. I would only quote hourly wages and then whatever it takes. Sometimes you spend hours just getting one bolt off, and sometimes things go really, really well. Um, I've I've done a rebuild on a 671 before. Labor cost was under five thousand dollars. Just 
and then uh, rebuild kits, maybe 1500 to 2000 depending on what you need, and if you're doing belts, hoses, and stuff like that. Um, if you do a lot of the work yourself, you can get it even cheaper than that. Um, it just depends, but I would never quote a specific price. This is what it's gonna be because you never know how long you're gonna be working on just the stupidest little things. Where is the best place to buy oil filters? Uh, anywhere. They're all pretty much so the same. Um, O'Reilly's is where I get all my stuff delivered here from. But that's because it's down the street. Yeah, they do. Yeah. With the commercial account, everything's, you know, you get it delivered. There's no charge and they give you a discount on stuff. But uh, if you want to use the Detroit dealer, you can get it from there and pay twice as much. You can get a Baldwin filter or something. But it, you can research the different brands that are available. They're all real similar quality-wise. Just don't buy new old stock off of like eBay or something like that because they do, the rubber inside goes bad over time. If you put a 20 year old filter, even though it's brand new, never used, uh, I've had problems with those. So don't try that, that route. Is the engine on Lenny capable of running backwards like the V16 Detroit? Yeah, all two stroke Detroits can run backwards. Not very well, but they can. Someone else is asking again, did you get the alternator figured out on the 4104? So they probably weren't here on the video when you talked Yeah, about no, that. we got to figure it out where it's not working. <laughs> Are you hiring? No, we're not. So again, I mentioned earlier, if you haven't done it, all of our Patreon stuff that we're posting right now is available for anybody to see. So if you go over to our Patreon page, you can watch the videos from today. You'll see that first run of the 4104 coming up the hill today it is very impressive. Uh, lots and lots of smoke. Um, it was very smoky. <laughs> Lots of smoke is an understatement. You couldn't see the Jeep parked behind it even when you had it. I, I would have, yeah, there was a picture I posted too where it shows the, um, the smoke and the, the, there's a Jeep actually behind the smoke, but you can't see it. It's, it's not even 20, I don't even know if it's 20 feet away. I was gonna say maybe 15 feet. <laughs> 15 feet away and it's completely obscured by smoke. Um, but yeah, no, I, I would have not been surprised had the fire department showed up after that smoke coming in because it was. You, you, they could have saw it from space today, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but it cleared up. Second run, it was hardly any smoke at all. Third run, it was much, much less. Now, even at idle, there's zero smoke at idle. Um, just a, the faintest little hint of blue smoke as it goes uh, under power right now. So it's going to clear up. It's just been sitting for so long. But uh, anyways, everything on Patreon right now, you can view it. If, even if you're not a Patreon member, everything I posted today is, is publicly available just to go there and see. And you can watch that video and a couple other things. I'm just trying to promote and get some more subscriptions to our Patreon page. Um, it starts at $5 a month, goes up from there. You can uh, We do behind the scenes stuff, little video clips, pictures, and we're going to be a lot more active on it coming up. We're doing really well in January, posting on it multiple things per day, a lot more behind the scenes stuff, things about upcoming projects. They already knew that we have four buses coming this month that we're going to be working on uh, to have more content for the YouTube channel. We're not changing the... You're not getting less things on YouTube. It's going to stay exactly the same. People are always concerned about that. You know, if, if you just want to wait for the free stuff, our YouTube channel, we're not holding back content. We're not restricting con Everything will be there. It's just you might see a few of the clips and behind the scene things earlier. You'll see more discussions and things that are on the Patreon page that aren't necessarily on the YouTube page. But the video content will be the same. It's not going to change. But right now, you can go there and see it for free. Uh, Patreon.com slash Monkey. The B on Monkey is capitalized. I believe it has to be for that. Um, and Patreon members will be able to come here. Oh yeah, Patreon members can come here. They can stay here. We had three Patreon members come and camp here over the last couple of weeks. Yep. Um, and yeah, so there's other benefits that Patreon has. Patreon members can come here and have their buses worked on here at the property, or, or I will help them do some work on their bus here on the property. So and there are, once we get back on the road, they'll have priority. And Patreon members do have priority for our scheduling for our events that we go when if we go to your location to work on a bus. So. There's a lot of cool benefits to it and um you know if, if you like the content that we have here on the property and seeing what's going on the property and things about our lives personal kelly does a live with me every month so you get to see kelly every month talk about what's going on here too um, and that's something that we only do for patreon anyways i was just mentioning that so you could go there and watch that video of the bus going up the hill today because i think you'll think it's really cool and some of the pictures are pretty funny from today too what kind of roof coating do you use on your bus uh henry's henry's tropical uh, I love it. I originally had the bus coat stuff, uh, B-U-S-K-O-T-E, I think is how it's spelled. It's a elastomeric coating, but it has ceramic beads inside of it, but it did not have a shiny finish and dirt stuck to it like a magnet. I was always trying to clean it and it would never come clean, always looked dingy and nasty. This Henry's roof coating is super bright. Um, it, it's very shiny and nothing sticks to it at all. It, it hoses off and cleans off really easy. 
and it doesn't leak anywhere. I have a silver 92 475, keeps popping head gaskets and they can't figure out why. Um, I, I have no idea why, it's very rare that they blow a head gasket, so that doesn't make a lot of sense. Yeah, I have no idea. I'd have, to, I'd have to see more information on that. Are you putting hoist or something for lifting buses? No, but I would like to get the lifts like we used down at Rob's in Texas last year. Or, yeah, it was last year now, I can say that. About a year ago. <laughs> it was sometime in Jan I think it was in January that we were there, right? Yeah. Yeah, we were there in January. Um, and he had those, uh, the small lifts, which just goes up like three feet or whatever. Those were great. I loved them. I want to get a set of those. Uh, I'm not putting, yeah, I'm not doing any kind of giant bus lifts or anything. Do they make tire jacks that you can put together and take apart? I have no idea. I just saw that um, Jason just said in there I should bottle up the cold start. And I said that I want to take one of Kelly's mason jars and put it behind the exhaust of the bus and close it up. And then I would sell it and they could somebody could go home, open it and get a little sniff. And it would have that odor in there that they would remember <laughs> the two stroke Detroit. Maybe you should just bottle it up for the owner of the bus <laughs> that you're doing it for. You're crazy. <laughs> you're all crazy. <laughs> the, it won't still be smoke. It'd be awesome if it stayed smoke, but that won't still stay smoke. But it'll definitely have the smell in there. Building materials are not cheap. How do I get to your Patreon page? Uh, we could put a drop a, a link. There is a link already on the community tab that I put earlier today. So if you click that, or otherwise, oh yeah, I can add a link to the description of this. But it's just Bus Grease Monkey or Patreon.com slash Bus Grease Monkey. But the B is capitalized in Bus Grease Monkey. All one word, no spaces, and it'll take you right to it. But there's a link in the community tab from today. Any signs of the container settling more? Uh, I'm not sure if they're a Patreon person because we, we lifted it and raised it yesterday and it's perfectly level. Um, yeah, we spent probably a couple hours getting it leveled up and the, the doors open and close easier now. So it was it must have been tweaked a little bit, but the, it, I thought it was about six inches low. It had settled about six inches on the back left-hand corner. Once we got it jacked up and level with the big levels in there and everything, it turned out it was about 10 inches low on the back left-hand corner. It was, that was crazy. It's much, much better. How's your mini split doing for heat? Perfect. Um, I just haven't had all the power that I want to do all the time because of cloudy days. So I've been using the diesel heater, the supplement, but yeah, it's, it's doing awesome. Um, most of the time during the day, if it's a cooler day, we just leave that on the sun's out. It's not an issue at all. We can run it all night long if it had been a sunny day. Uh, but if it's a cloudy day, I haven't been running it all night long because it, it doesn't cycle on and off like the air conditioner. In the summertime, when the air conditioner would run, you know, normally it would cool off outside, so it wouldn't run a whole lot cycle time during the nighttime. But the mini split in the wintertime when it's, you know, 20 degrees or that one night it was six degrees or whatever, it, it ran nonstop. But that diesel heater is a great supplemental heater and it uses very little diesel. We, we go through like maybe two gallons of diesel a week on that diesel heater and I run it quite a bit. Have you ever thought about using a swench for hard to get at stuck bolts and nuts? I don't know. S W E N C H. Is that's that? what it says. I don't even know what that is. So we know about your plans for the shop and the property. Any plans yet for a house or container home? No, not yet. Uh, one one thing at a time. We're putting in the apartment in the in the shop, so we'll have an actual place to stay there, and then after that the house at some point in the future. If you could have the chance to fit a turbo on Lenny, what size turbo would you use? I have no idea. I'll talk to Joe about what he recommends to do for that. Not, not a huge, nothing, nothing crazy. What happened to the cooking channel? Scott needs to take over. <laughs> I don't know what happened to the cooking channel, Kelly. I didn't want to do the cooking channel. She didn't channel want to do it from the beginning, beginning to begin with, but she needs to get back to doing some cooking videos. Maybe when we get the shop built and have the apartment and I have more room. Maybe. Maybe Leroy can have his cooking channel. <laughs>
to get more followers. <laughs> he probably would. <laughs> uh, does your roof still feel tacky like it's still curing? No. No, and, and I have two coats that I put on a year apart on there. Somebody said, you'll never get the next coat to stick to it, but that's what the manufacturer recommends that it's fully cured before you put a second coat on there, So, which was a couple days. But no, it's not tacky at all. It's It feels it's super slick. It's really cool. How much will the shop floor cost? Seems like it will be 39 cubic yards, 4 inch thick, if I recall the dimensions correctly. Except it's 6 inches thick that we're doing, and then there's foundation like turn downs on the ends for the foundation part that are like two, almost 2 feet, um, plus the dirt work and everything well, to get it in there. Work. The cheapest bid we have right now is 26,000 bucks for the concrete work. So just to give you an idea of, oh, and then concrete for the approach coming in into the shop. That kind of stuff too. So there's, there's quite a bit of fill that's going to need to go in because we have to drop yeah. off. Yeah, and I had the the one quote. I think it was like thirty nine thousand dollars. So that's just the concrete work. Yep. Are you going to put Henry's on your new building? No. I doubt about it. No. no. <laughs> Someone says excess smoke. K-H-O-A violation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get her to do a K-H-O-A violation video where she goes around with her checkboard no. and writes me up for everything. She don't want to do it. <laughs> a lot got cleaned up today. So we did. The good. pad. There's a picture of the concrete pad uh, with, waiting for its next bus on there. I still need some oil dry. I need to put oil dry on my uh, wish list for my Amazon stuff. On, on Patreon page, we have a uh, my Amazon wish list is posted on there. And some of the Patreon members buy some of that stuff. Like today I use, I think I use four cans of Brake Clean today on Cliff's bus. Um, paper towels, different things like that that we use. And then the client doesn't have to pay for those materials. So our Patreon members buy that stuff for us, send it here, supplies that we know. Oh, grease for his wheel bearings was that. Um, so we can use that stuff and not have to charge the client for it, help them save the money. So they kind of get to be involved in the job a little bit too by helping with the incidentals and stuff like that. Ever smell a Detroit running on veggie oil? Yes, I used to run veggie oil on my other bus. Smells good. Yep, Gino's garage said that they made the butter chicken off of nice. the cooking channel. Hopefully you liked it. Leroy needs to start his own channel. <laughs> yep. A swench is a manual impact wrench that you can find using on Google. You you can find it using Google, I think is what they're trying to say. So you need to check it out, see what it is. So is that like the kind that I have, I, I have, that I use for like screws and stuff like that? When you bang it, it twists one notch each time when you hit it with a hammer? I have one of those. I use it, but a lot of times I break the bits off of them and the bolts don't come out. Someone says in floor heat is what your shop needs. It's going to have it. Yep. That's not part of the concrete bid. When we made it clear to them that we want to put that in ourselves um, between the excavating and the concrete that we'd have the, the weekend to get all that in, so. Are masks a big deal in your local town? Um, they are to me, but no. To us, yes. People don't wear anything. A lot of them aren't wearing them. Yeah, 80% is probably a decent number to say, are not. That's why we stay here. Yeah, we don't really go anywhere. Will your shop have heat, AC, airline hookups, all the fancy stuff, or what features are you considering? Um, it'll have heat. Probably going to have air conditioning. Um, what other fancy stuff? It'll have water, it'll have a bathroom, it'll have a shower in the shop so that I can take a shower in the shop before I go into a the... A big-ass fan? Uh, yeah, I want to get a big-ass fan. <laughs> You're we'll getting one. We'll see if it works. Uh, it, well, with the roof pitch and all that, we have to make sure. That... That's true. <laughs> We'll have to see what kind of room, but you want one of those, so you'll get one if you if it'll fit. Uh, Temperature Tyler, is definitely dropping out here. <laughs> Tyler says he'll donate a GoPro to give Leroy a channel. That would be fun to put a GoPro on him and just let him wander to see what he sees but but only do it on one side oh so look he's looking at his balls again he does uh, he doesn't have any but 
we can cover like half of it up so they can only see a partial view. Like he sees out of one, <laughs> Get eye. one eye. Nice. <laughs> Poor Leroy. <laughs> He's my buddy. Um, let's see. Are the permits pulled for the new shop? No. And contractor ready to go? No. Um, we're doing it all. Yeah, we're, but we're waiting. Well, we're not doing like concrete work and stuff no. like that, but we're waiting until it, it only lasts for a year. So I don't want to push it. So there's no reason until we get the building here. So we've talked to the permit guys and or the town, the inspectors and stuff like that. So yeah, they're no, they know we're going to do it. So Someone's wanting to know how cold it has gotten here this winter. I We've think, had very few really cold I think, cold I think days. it got down to six that one day. I think that the was the one night. No, yeah. Yeah, but I think during the day. We had a couple days where the highs were like 17, 19, something like that. But that only was a couple days. It was just a couple days. of days. And most days here are above freezing. It, it, it drops freezing overnight. And then daytime is, you know, 35 to 45. Is, been, is that the coldest so far that... But it usually is. It was is. 72 like three days ago. Yeah. And it was 50s the day, be the several days before that and after. So it's all over the place. This one says big fan like at the Ox Ranch. Yes. Because that's what they had in their shop, right? Yeah. Yeah, that place had a, apparently had a different budget than what most people have. Yeah. And if I do a big-ass fan, it might be a knockoff version of a big-ass fan. If they work the same. I'll get Dan to print me up a sticker that says big-ass fan. <laughs> Stick it on there. Um, waste oil heater for the shop? Um, I mean, that might be nice to add that, but we're going to have concrete radiant flooring heat, and that's probably going to be natural gas since we have natural gas here on the property. Looking at my Patreon, where do I find your Amazon list? Um, that was posted. You'd have to scroll back down through. It was publicly viewable, but it was probably a month ago that it was posted. So yeah, you have to scroll. People are asking before Christmas. Yeah. So every time we I think you can search for it through Amazon by my email address too. I believe. I'm not sure. They've changed things on Amazon, so I'm not okay. sure. But we can we can put that link in here too. Which my email is Scott at BusGreaseMonkey.com. So if that still comes up that way. But yeah, all of it that helps out the people that are getting their buses worked on. Yeah, there's a lot. We got, you know, uh, towels, brake clean, different oils, different things like that. Um, just stuff to help help those guys out. Where's your lovely dog? He's in the bus right now, chilling. He went on a nice walk before Scott started. He's still been accident free in the bus. Yep, you probably just jinxed us. <laughs> He did puke the other day. Oh, he has thrown up one time. And he gave no warning of throwing up. He just <laughs> just did it. <laughs> but luckily, it was on the, <laughs> not on a carpet or anything. It was right on the, the tile. Um, are you going to pony up 26 grand for the floor or keep looking for a lower bid or DIY? Uh, I really like that guy that, we, that nice. we got the bid from. Um, super nice. Uh, all the, his first bid was like 17 grand. Over so the phone, seventeen five is what he seventeen said. five. Over the phone, hadn't seen anything. Just discussing it with him. That was with it was it was really nice that he even threw out a number like that over the phone. And then uh, he called me back for that bid right away. Talked to me, knowledgeable. Said, "Hey, I'll come out and look at your site. I can come out Monday. I think this was a Friday that I talked to him. Yep. So Monday he showed up on time. Came and looked at the property." We discussed a few things, you know, that, that original bid was for four inches of concrete. You know, we want to do six inches, like we have the pad uh, with fiber. So it's super, super strong. Um, and that was out without the and, drive. And that was without the driveway approach coming in. I was going to originally do that just gravel or something like that. He's like, you should probably just do that concrete. It'll look nicer and so on. So he really we covered were, a lot of different things. We level too, and and then level. he said, I'll get you this bid in a couple of days. And he had me that bid in a couple of days. So, he, you know, he returned calls, he showed up on time, you know, he threw out numbers, he, he followed through with his bid in a couple of days, that was great. The one place, you know, came out like a week later, I hadn't heard from him for several days. Um, then they said they had the bid in a couple of days and it was over a week later the bid showed up finally. Um, those were all red flags to me that 
they're, they're going to be difficult to work with or maybe not follow their word and everything. So I really like that one guy. Plus he was super friendly and uh, he just, everything was great. We liked him. So I yeah, know. so I'll probably go with him. And the fact that the other guy's bids were so much higher, um, it had nothing necessarily to do with it. We immediately knew that this was the guy that we really liked, but I had to get some other, because if the other bids came in at like 10 grand, then I'd have been like, you know, that's, that's a no brainer. But there's, there's a lot of work involved in the concrete for that building. Someone says Leroy needs a cool pirate eye patch. He has one at the house. He does have a pirate eye patch. We put a googly eye on it. <laughs> <laughs> he was a pirate one year for Halloween. Halloween. Since your property has hills with multiple elevations, are there any spots you could dig out a cave or grotto? Um, I wouldn't. I have no plan to do anything like that right now. But there almost is on the other side. Yeah, we have. If you've watched the video of the property where we have, there's already some really cool limestone formations over there that you can get. There's a little cave on it and stuff. How's the naked thing running now? Great. It starts right up. Doesn't smoke at all. So I, I don't know if it's just because it sat for a long time. That's why it smoked so bad when I started up that one day. But uh, yeah, it uh, it starts easy and going to get it in his garage hopefully tomorrow. I don't know how you get your hair to stand up like that. Product. <laughs> <laughs> you need a haircut. <laughs> I need a haircut. Any chance of Leroy Pirate shirts? You can do that. That'd be fun. Yeah, Leroy can get a shirt. Why don't you folks go inside when it's cold? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I say. Is everything done in Indiana? No, not even close. But Kelly's going to go up there this weekend? Is that we're going up there? Sunday. Sunday. Yep. I'm staying here. I got work to do. Two brothers saying it's hard to hear me. I don't understand why it's so hard to hear me when I'm sitting next to you. I'm Sorry. projecting into it and... But Sage says that I sound fine to him. Are you coming to Washington State this summer? No. How is the, how big is the new building going to be? 40 by 78. Yeah. I knew you would have to think about that. I would have had to think about it. Six inches seems light for a heavy duty shop floor. No, that's fine. That's what our. That's what our pad is and it's not breaking and cracking or anything else. And by the time it gets the fiber in it, it's the tensile PSI strength is an astronomical number. It's not going to be a problem. And are we putting rebar in too like we did down there? Does that need to go with the... Um, I will probably just for the heck of it throw rebar in in the areas where the buses will be parked and jacked up at. But the whole thing doesn't need that now. You ever watch the YouTuber Musty One? Yes. House not listed for sale yet? No. What is the It's getting really close. We're cleaning up things, and then I had the incident with the washing machine where the drywall is falling off, the drywall compound is falling off the ceiling. If you hadn't jacked your back up, we would have been up done already. That is true, too. What is the hardest bus job you have ever completed? I don't know. This, this one, because <laughs> it's never ending. <laughs> and I don't get paid anything. <laughs> you get paid in enjoyment. Oh, yes. <laughs> what are you working on now, or what is your next project? Um, if you go to our Patreon page, you will know, because we mentioned all that. <laughs> we have a scenic cruiser coming here this week. Um, and then there's another bus coming after that, and then another bus, and Bailey's bus, and we have four, at least four buses that we're going to have videos of working on in January here. Will the new building be used as a garage for Lenny and your vehicles? Uh, if I don't have customer buses in there, then, but 
I mean, I I'm, we really enjoy having the solar power to, we don't have to have big electrical bills here at the property, so. I would say if we have nasty weather, it'd be nice. Oh to yeah, them. for nasty weather, it'd be fun to put them inside. Um, hi from Australia. Australia have a 6V71 with a gallon of water in sump. Where would you look for the leak? Um, is it sit outside at all? I mean, you're running it and it got in there from running specifically. Um, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of things that can add it to the oil. Um, yeah, I mean, the first thing I would do is pull the inspection covers and look for water in the air box. If you're seeing coolant come out, if you got a, you know, um, a cracked head, you'll see it coming down from the top. Um. I, that's probably the, the very first thing that I would do is and pull those covers. But if you're not getting any coolant or water coming out of your airbox drains, um, then it's probably not that. But the uh, the head, the, one of those little O-rings on the head, if that goes bad, then it really adds a lot of water to it too. Um, the oil cooler isn't usually the problem. That usually pushes because the oil is a higher pressure uh, than the coolant pressure. So if the oil cooler is leaking, then it, you add oil to the coolant, not the other way around. Um, but inspection box covers is where I would start. Someone replied, Juan's wheel bearings. That Do wasn't you... being hard. Yeah. That wasn't hard. Juan's shocks. That sucked. <laughs> <laughs> what bus do you recommend for a newbie? Um, like 4104s, 4106s are really good starter buses for people. Um, they're not super complicated. There's nothing you really can't do yourself uh, for the most part, or the books don't tell you, uh, you know, they tell you pretty well what to do. Uh, I would, you know, eat some of the older MCIs, things like that. Um, I definitely would recommend something vintage though. The, the modern stuff with all the computers and all that kind of stuff, I, I would not recommend that because you're going to be pulling out your hair. Have you heard anything on the bus that had a flooded engine in Texas? No, I just, I think he just, he just posted something today on, on one of my things, but uh, I, I think he's kind of put it on the back burner for now. He hasn't really messed with it, but um, yeah, that thing was crazy. What is the best co-pilot chair setup you have seen? The thought of my wife sitting behind me is terrifying. They're all pretty much so the same, but if you give it a, a swivel chair over there, some of the buses that have that, it's nice because you can spin it around and then that's part of your seating while the bus is parked somewhere too. Whatever happened to that truck you pulled out of the woods a year ago or so? The red our orange truck in Oregon, that's Mark's truck. And I believe he still has it, but I think he was trying to sell it. If that's what you're asking about. I didn't pull it out of the woods though. So that's why I'm not sure what you're talking about. He says orange, yes. Yeah, yeah that's, he. I think that's for sale. Um, last I heard it was still for sale. Okay, hey, we're caught up. Those I think it's dinner time. It is dinner time. And we need to go warm up. So just one thing, one more time, I'm going to talk about Patreon because we're trying to grow our Patreon membership right now. Um, we're going to be very, very active on it. Uh, we have been all month and you can go there today and see stuff for free. Everything that we posted today, even if you're not a member, you can see it. And you have the up the hill, uh, the 4104 bus going up the hill for the first time today. So the first time it's moved um, with that replacement engine in it and all that kind of stuff. Smoked like crazy, cleared up a lot better. There's other pictures and things like that too. So if you go check out our Patreon page, I would love it if you would join us over there. It's, it starts at like five bucks a month. Um, it doesn't take away from the content that we supply on YouTube. You just get extra stuff behind the scenes, more bonus information, discussions, you know, more about upcoming projects and things like that too. So um, it really helps you be a little bit more involved and there's other opportunities for you as Patreon members. But um, again, 
if you just want to go look for free, you can see some cool stuff on there today. Everything that we posted today is viewable for everybody. Uh, I'd love for you to join and try us out for a month or so, but if not, that's fine too. It's not going to change anything that we do for YouTube. And I'm going to go inside because the barking dogs outside are driving me absolutely crazy. And those dogs are like a mile away. <laughs> it's crazy how much the sound carries across the holler. So thanks for uh, watching the channel. And uh, I have a really cool video. I don't know if I'm going to get it up tonight. Uh, it'll be tonight or tomorrow um, of the 4104, all the progress on it. And you'll see how the smoke clears up on it and multiple trips up the hill. I was surprised. I, I wasn't surprised, but I... I hadn't anticipated my first initial run up the hill was not going to be a run up the hill. I backed up the driveway kind of towards the entrance and I told Kelly who was standing down at the pad that I'm just going to drive it up to the back to the pad again and then back up and down the driveway. I just want to kind of feel how responsive it felt testing the brakes and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then once I got on it, I'm like, hey, this thing's got power. And then I just went up the hill. So I don't know at what point she realized he's not as stopping here. As soon as here. you got on it, I'm oh. like, um, I'm not in the right spot for this video. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then everything disappeared behind me it was it was an incredible amount of smoke if you go check out that video you probably couldn't see me from the top of the hill oh i couldn't i couldn't see any i i was cliff shot video while i was driving the bus too but i'm like man you won't believe how much smoke is behind me right now it was crazy but it did it got it got better every single time that we did it which i knew that it would because the engine had sat for so long uh, it's still a tired engine it still doesn't have a ton of power on it uh well it has a ton of power but it still doesn't have really good compression we're hoping the compression is going to come up just because it had been sitting for so long and everything we've been seeing has been improving every single time it's not puking oil out all over the place it's barely leaking anything there was only a couple of drips that i even saw on the ground after we ran it today that's the first time we've even had that up to temperature so that that's it's been sitting for so long and even when the other guy had it uh he fired it up i don't know how many years it had been sitting before that but he didn't get it up to operating temperature. It was just idle it. Everything we've been doing here is basically idling it or running it just a little bit at higher RPM, but under no load, which is completely useless for that. So today it got a load put on it. It has plenty of power and it is going to get better and better as it goes. Um, but you'll see some of those videos and pictures and stuff over on the Patreon page. Go check it out. Oh, was there a super chat? Yes, there was. Uh, from Mac. Oh, hey, Mac. Thank you very much. Come join us on Patreon. <laughs> that, that's that, that would get you is. that would get you a month of entertainment for on Patreon. <laughs> that five dollars. Thanks so much, everybody. You guys have a good night. And uh, again, that video, I'll either get it up tonight or I'll get it tomorrow. Um, I got tons. Actually, I got two videos that are ready to go. So I, I got to edit them, but all the footage is shot on them. So good night, everybody. Thanks. Good night.